Hi guys, here's the next part of modeling an excavator with Blender 2.8. And in this part I will create the connections for the syringe that will be used for the printed model in the end to control the different parts. For this part here I decided to cut a hole into the object so that we can put a screw later on through it so that we can connect the syringe. For the cut I use again my fast carve add-on and a difference operation. I painted the syringe using annotations, here you can see the push head, and later on we will drill a hole into it and connect this with a screw to the model. This is actually the easy part, for the other one at the top it will be a bit more complicated. But I think I found a good solution to connect this that I'm going to create now. First I go to edit mode and then I press Ctrl and R to add two edge loops here at the top. Then I switch to face selection, select this face and extrude it. Ok, here we have some sharp edges that I remove. And then I go ahead and add a cylinder because I want to cut into this part that we just extruded. And the radius is set to 16 millimeters. Oh, wait a moment, it has to be smaller because the diameter has to be 16 millimeters, not the radius. You see the whole part is 25 millimeters. So I press S, then 0.5. And now we have the correct size because the diameter of the syringe will be 16 millimeters. I scale down the cylinder and bring it to a position where I can cut into the object. And then I can again execute a difference operation to cut a hole at this position. Ok, now we have the hole cut into the object, but what I also need is a kind of small gap at the front so that I can press this part together and connect it with a screw. Because this will really fix the syringe and to do this I add a cube, scale it down and also cut out this part from the mesh. Alright, I press difference. And then you can see the result, this kind of gap at the front. Ok, now the only thing we have to do is to cut a hole at the front. But I can see here already that the height of this part that we added isn't large enough. So go to edit mode and select this part with a box select. And after that I press S and set and scale it up, like so. Ok, now we have enough geometry so that we can cut a hole into the mesh. And that's it, we are done with this part. Let's do a quick measure. Here we have about 140 mm from the hole to the top. This should be fine, but we will really see if it works when it is printed. And here again a last measurement for this hole, it is 16 mm. Ok, now I will give these parts to my customer so that they can print it out because this is a commissioned work. And after that we will create the next parts. I created a playlist for this excavator modeling, I added the link to the description below. If you like this and my channel then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions add these to the comments. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me and I'll see you on JNM.